PSR is an acronym for Buzz, Squeak, and Rattle. PSR is a test method by which we can quantify and measure the amount of noise that parts and subsystems make while under a vibration environment. Today's consumers have high expectations for their product choices. Car buyers also expect a high level of quality from their vehicles. Consumers want new vehicles to provide them with a quiet ride even when they drive over uneven roads. Manufacturers of automotive parts use BSR testing to quantify and when necessary troubleshoot the causes of automotive parts that make noise while under simulated road load conditions. For the sound level produced by a device under test to be measured accurately, it's important to know that the only sound being produced is coming from the DUT. In order to assure that this is the case, we follow a two-step process before we test the DUT. First, we measure the sound level of the shaker while it's operating under the specified random vibration spectrum. Then, we mount the BSR test fixture to the shaker and repeat the sound level measurement at the same test level. BSR standards typically define a maximum acceptable sound level which can be tolerated from either the shaker or the shaker and test fixture combination. If the fixture exhibits sound levels higher than the specification permits, this must be rectified prior to testing the DUT. We have the in-house capability to design and fabricate the necessary quiet BSR fixtures if a client cannot provide us with one. Once we have established that the shaker and fixture sound level are acceptable, the DUT is mounted to the test fixture and the test is repeated with the microphone positioned as required by the test method. Sound data is typically collected for 5 to 10 seconds for each test run and these steps are repeated for the other two mutually perpendicular axes. Sound level data is usually measured in dBA or SONES. Recent BSR specifications are also asking for sound quality metrics to be determined. In addition to sound level, some BSR specifications require that acceleration level also be measured at specific locations on the DUT. If these sound and acceleration levels comply with the specification requirement, the test is considered completed. If, however, these don't comply with the specification, troubleshooting to identify the causes must be performed by the client with follow-up tests to confirm the effectiveness of mitigation measures.